now going to take a look at inventory periods, and inventory periods are managed on the inventory periods page. To open the page, we're going to go to Departments, Financial Management, Inventory, and Inventory Periods. Now backdated transactions or cost adjustments can affect balances and stock valuations for accounting periods that may be closed. And this can have adverse effects on accurate reporting, especially for global corporations. Beginning with Microsoft Dynamics Nav 5.0, this program implements inventory periods to avoid such problems. The inventory periods can be opened or closed to limit posting within a defined period of time. An inventory period is a period of time defined with an ending date in which you post inventory transactions. When you close an inventory period, no value changes can be posted within the closed period. This includes new value postings, expected or invoice postings, changes to existing values, and cost adjustments. You can, however, still apply to an open item ledger entry that falls within the closed period. To create a new inventory period, we're going to go to the ribbon at the top of the page and click New. Then we're going to fill in this ending date field. For our example, let's use December 31st, 2017. And if we tab off this field, you can see that NAV is automatically going to create a period name consisting of the month and year of the ending date. You can, of course, modify this field if need be, but we're going to leave it as it is for the purposes of our demonstration. I'm then going to, going to click OK. And there, we have a new inventory period. To close the period, we click the Close Period button at the top of the page. And if need be, we also have the option to reopen a closed period by using the Reopen Period button right here.